Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we're gonna do the flow of 0 0.9999, infinite amount of nice. First of all, we have to know that this right here represents a limit, the limit of the sequence starting 0 0.9, and then 0 0.99, and then 0 0.999, and so on. We need to find out the limit of that sequence first. And be careful, this right here represents a limit inside of a fluor function, and fluor function is a discontinuous function at integer values. So we cannot just change the order of limit and the function whenever we want. We have to do it carefully. And because the way that this is written, we have to do this inside out. So let's get going. First, I will keep the fluor function, and let me just write this down right here in the limit form. It's the limit. And we can write it as n goes to infinity. So this is just one to write it. I'll just write the easy way. To do so, when you have infinite amount of nice, you first have to have finite amount of nice. How many though? N of them. So we can just write it down as 0 0.99 dot dot dot. And then you stop right here. And you are going to indicate you have a nice like this. And usually when you write this down, people know, OK, you are talking about you have n nice here, and then you take n to be infinity, then you have infinite amount of nice. So that's good enough. So as I was saying, OK, we have a limit inside of the fluor function. This right here is not the same as you put the limit on the outside. This is not the same as the limit as n goes to infinity of the floor of 0 0.99 dot 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 9, even though you have n right here. No. You are doing the limit first inside of the flow function, and then you are going to figure out the answer, and then you do the flow function. Right? This right here is you do the flow function first, and then do the limit. There are two different things. And because it was written like that, so it's the first interpretation. So to do that, let's go ahead and finish it. This is just the limit. This is not a limit, so this is just the flow. Anyway, this right here, the limit to that is famously equal to 1. So I'll just put on 1 right here. And the flow of 1 is equal to 1. So we are done. The answer to that is 1. If somebody give you this in the limit form, this right here will have been, well, you have to take the limit here first. Well, on the outside, I mean, you have to write it down right here, but you have to do this first. But when you have finite amount of nice after the decimal point, and you take the flow of that, you get 0. So all this right here, it's 0. And in here, you end up with 0. But as I said, originally, the question was written this way, so this would be the answer. 